It's not every day that you look out the window and see a herd of wild elephants walking down the street, but that was what locals saw in China's southern Yunnan province this week. Fifteen wild elephants, including three calves, have trekked more than 400 kilometers north from their habitat on the border with Myanmar and are now outside the city of Kunming. Their journey has been monitored by millions of people online, but they haven't been welcomed by all. Farmer Guo Zhuguang was woken up after midnight on Wednesday by the elephants forcing their way into his courtyard. He climbed onto his roof for safety as they ate his stores of corn. I was so scared. The local government warned me to leave. But I didn't expect that elephants could actually break into my house. So I chose to stay at home. It was a mistake. But the damage didn't end there. The elephants also trampled over his rice fields and smashed his fence. Officials say the herd has so far destroyed more than a million dollars worth of property. This is the closest that we could get to the elephants. Local authorities have set up these checkpoints on the roads leading up to where the herd are currently traveling. Hundreds of police have been deployed to keep onlookers away. They're concerned that crowds getting too close to the elephants could pose a threat to both the animals and the people. In recent years, several farmers have been killed in encounters with elephants. The animals commonly stray from their home in Xishuang Bana Reserve, China's biggest rainforest. But conservationists say it's the first time a herd has traveled this far. The main driver is the uh, decrease and fragmentation of the natural forest that they live uh, that they live with, and the, the uh, and the reason for the. Uh, decreasing and fragmentation of the nature forest is because the uh, uh, ex expansion of human activities such as uh, plantation, uh, uh, for example, uh, tea and rubber trees, uh, and also some uh, construction programs. The forest area is shrinking and the number of elephants rising. An estimated 300 now live in this region. Authorities are trying to encourage the family of elephants to return home by blocking roads and luring them south with truckloads of food. But they're not expecting results overnight. More likely, they say, it'll be slow and steady. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Yunnan, China.